another change. King Charles is not going to want to rule like his mother, is what people are expecting. A lifetime as the heir apparent will leave King Charles III itching to make changes, according to commentators. As Prince Charles, the new king was groomed to someday become the ruler of the United Kingdom for nearly 70 years. He was Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip's firstborn child, and he got to experience firsthand from watching his mother. But King Charles III has a very different outlook in life, and especially on how to rule a kingdom. On September the 19th, Queen Elizabeth II's state funeral took place, and she was finally laid to rest next to her husband of more than 70 years, Prince Philip, at St George's Chapel in Windsor. Her son, a new monarch, King Charles III, locked on in sorrow. The king has now travelled to Scotland, accompanied by the Queen Consort, his wife Camilla, as the royal family observes a further week of mourning. While grief continues to ripple through the country, attention is now turning to what the future holds for the British monarchy, with a new king at the helm. The new king was only four years of age when his mother was crowned as the Queen of England. However, he has known he would become king for nearly 70 years, while Queen Elizabeth II took the throne immediately after her own father died from illness. King Charles III confirmed he had been dreading this moment for many years, he knows the giant shoes he needs to fill. In terms of personality, the new king doesn't have the same type of good will from the media and the people as the late queen had. In his approach, King Charles III is expected to make many changes compared to the way the queen ruled her kingdom. Charles becomes king at a particularly tumultuous time as well. Brexit is fresh, there's a brand new prime minister, the latest in a recent churn of PMs, and the war in Ukraine is causing ripple effects throughout the world. There are the sexual assault allegations against his younger brother, Prince Andrew, who settled with his accuser earlier this year, and the ongoing reckoning with the monarchy's violent colonial past and the legacy of oppression. Unlike the Queen, who kept her opinions to herself, as Prince of Wales, King Charles III has been vocal about matters such as the environment, something he has said keeps him up at night worrying, as well as humanitarian crises. But the concerning questions are, can he handle the pressure of it all? Most of all, can he keep at bay the biggest question of all? Is the monarchy still necessary in our modern society? When his mother became queen, she was a mysterious princess. We've known Charles his whole life, but even with that 70 year wait, is he ready to replace his beloved mother? Asks royal biographer Duncan Larcombe. We are in a totally uncharted territory. We wait with bated breath. Whereas the Queen was the most popular royal, like by 75% of people, according to a running tracker by the Polestar YouGov, Charles is liked by 42% and disliked by 24% of the British public. Many pundits attribute that to his mutually unfaithful marriage to Princess Diana, and the royals perceived unsympathetic treatment of her death in 1997. Others say it is because of the openly political positions he has taken a no-no for the supposedly apolitical royals, and a dramatic departure from his stoically impartial mother.